Severe weather season is well underway, and tomorrow night we're expected to see the first real event. Before storms hit, officials say you need to have a game plan. News 18's Brittany Tyner reports knowing the storm is coming is the best way to stay safe. Brittany, how should people treat every severe storm that rolls through the area? Well, Dan, officials say plan for the worst. For example, everybody always buckles up before taking off in a car. Officials say having a safe spot picked out before the severe weather rolls in is the same concept. Whether it's day or night, it's better to know the weather before you have to weather the storm. And we're looking at a line of storms, some pockets of damaging straight line wind, also the potential of an isolated, brief, weak tornado or two. That's the forecast for the News 18 viewing area late Wednesday night. It's the first severe weather event this spring. Emergency management leaders say it's important to know when severe weather is on its way before it's too late. Human nature is for people to go outside and look or look out the window, that type of thing. Uh, in the daytime, you might be able to get by with that a little bit. But certainly uh, after the sun sets and it's dark, the only way to really see that is, is by radar. Tippecanoe County Emergency Management Director Smokey Anderson says before the storm hits, have a game plan prepared. He says make sure your family knows the safe spots. You want to protect yourself and your loved ones. And if you think this, the storm itself is approaching your house, you should absolutely seek the lowest level. If you have a... a a basement, absolutely get in the basement. If not, get to the lowest level of the structure, uh, an interior room or a closet, typically a bathroom. Anderson says all the warning sirens in Tipkinu County were tested two weeks ago during severe weather preparedness week. But with a foot of snow falling just two weeks ago and cooler temperatures lingering into April, some people may not have been alarmed by the sirens that usually go off in the springtime. I think a lot of people were still in winter mode. Well, this week, you know, it's much warmer. We're in the 70s. Today we hit 80 degrees. So this is a sign that, hey, we are getting into severe weather season. It's warming up. We had thunder and lightning last night. So I, I think now's a, a good time to kind of review the plan. Chief Meteorologist Chad Evans says over the past 50 to 70 years, the month of April sees the most violent storms and tornadoes because of the winter air mixing with the warming ground. He says that's something to keep in mind as we move into the first half of severe weather season. Chad Evans says the weather is supposed to start around 10 o'clock tomorrow night and end around 3 a.m. Thursday. He and Smokey Anderson both say before you go to bed, make sure you're aware of the weather moving in so you can easily wake up and get to a safe place. Brittany Tyner, News 18.